Hello do-it-yourselfers. I appreciate you watching the videos and hope that they are helpful in your research of installing your own irrigation system from a non-public water source. This is more of a clarification video to help follow the wiring process, most specifically focused on the pump start relay. Note, I am not an electrician. However, I have done electrical work for many years. This is how my wiring diagram works based on my specific installation. To begin, at the top left, I already have existing power run down to the waterfront at my property. Standard electrical wire will have a black, white, and ground wires. So when you do your installation, please use the proper underground wire and underground PVC electrical conduit to help protect your buried wires to the final destination. Next, going across is the pump start relay. Notice the wiring for L1 in and out and L2 in and out. They are basically in direct line of each other respectively. Notice the small disconnect bridge with the red bar. This is not exactly how it works, but I think it helps portray the how it works. The black and white wires connected to this bridge are connected to the low voltage to complete its own power circuit. Think of it as a small motor that moves a bridge in place and out. When the power is coming from the low voltage and the power is turned on, it pushes the bridge in place, which connects the main power from the source to the ultimate pump. And when the low voltage is powered off, it retracts the bridge, pulling it away, breaking the connection, and disconnecting the power. Now, from the lower left is the timer control unit that's used to activate all the irrigation zones and the pump start relay. From the other videos, I expressed that the low voltage wiring is 18 gauge and in my scenario is a 10 wire so I can control up to eight individual zones plus I have the black and white to handle the power feed to the pump start relay the power is the black and the common neutral is white so my zones for simple remembering is ordered because of the colors that are available in the wire and the rainbow so red orange yellow green blue and indigo I have the spare, and then I have the black and white. Each solenoid within the system has two wires. One of the wires comes from the power of the color, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo. And the second wire of each will always connect to the neutral common white wire that's along the path. So for my first three zones, the red, orange, and yellow, I have those power wires connecting directly to it with the second wire respectively connect to the common white. And those are just pigtailed together. It's just to make sure that the neutral allows the connection all the way through the system. After that, I don't need the red, orange, and yellow. Those are done. I can cut those wires for the rest of the, the irrigation wire. Next, I move down to zones 4, 5, and 6, which is the green, blue, and indigo. And again, the white is pigtailed to the second wire of each solenoid. Doesn't matter which, because there's only two. And the green, blue, and indigo are connected to the remaining wire on each respective solenoid. And that's the end of the power for these three. The green, blue, and indigo could be cut off because I don't need them anymore downstream. Finally, we have the black and white that continue the rest of the way to the pump start relay. These two low voltage wires connect to the bridge unit that I described earlier. When power is on, the bridge is pushed into place and completes the primary power circuit and activates the pump. When power is off, it retracts to the current position in the image, thus shutting power off to the pump. This is why the two low voltage wires, it doesn't matter which the alternate wires that they connect to because it's just controlling its own little bridge switch. That's why it doesn't matter. But the blacks and the whites need to respectively connect to their L1 in out and L2 in out respectively. Hopefully this removes all doubt of the wiring you may have questions about. And if you have any additional questions on this or any of the other videos, please feel free to comment and I will respond as quickly as I can.